Hey tech fans, welcome back. You're watching Gigabyte's official Motherboards and Bricks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Leon Chen, and as you can see, I have a box next to me, so we have to open it. This is the Oris Z270X Gaming 8, and it is a big box, which means there's a lot of features and a lot of things inside that I want to show you and you guys probably want to see. So let's just get started. Right here, you can see that this box Motherboard supports RGB Fusion. It has a Bits Power logo because we've actually co opted on this board with the guys from Bits Power to create an integrated hybrid uh, VRM cooling solution. So it works actively and passively. It has Smart Fan 5, Killer Nix, and of course, this board is VR ready. For any of you VR pioneers or enthusiasts out there, be sure to get an Oris gaming motherboard if you guys want to satisfy most of those VR requirements all at one go because you want to have the best experience possible. This Oris Z270X Gaming 8 motherboard can do that for you. And speaking of Z270X, this is on an Intel Z270 chipset and this chipset is backwards compatible with 7th and 6th generation Intel Core processors. And before we miss it, there's also a Thunderbolt label right here. So if you want to take advantage of the high transfer speeds of Thunderbolt, which is 40 gigabits per second, all you have to do is get it a Thunderbolt 3 device and connect it onto this board and it's ready to go. This board also supports Intel Optane memory. So whenever Intel pushes that technology out, you can actually upgrade your computer with Intel Optane and have that available for you, giving you more uh, faster speeds. But make sure that you have a seventh generation uh, processor because that's one of the requirements for Optane to work properly. Now, as we spin, before we spin the board around, let's open this up so you can actually see what the board looks like on the inside as well as on the inside flap. You can see RGB fusion with all of the lights lit up. So let's spin that around. All right, some of the features we talked about a few seconds ago, we have on our lighting, we have RGB fusion. We do support LED strips, so that's something that we'll talk about a little bit later when we look at the board. And of course, an LED accent overlay, uh, which gives you guys more customization features. And also, Gigabyte will be doing different things to share with you guys on that accent LED overlay. It has Creative Sound Blaster and a Creative Sound Core 3D chip. Gigabyte's one of the first manufacturers to implement a quad-core audio chip directly onto the board. And what's more, on the cooling, we talked about Bits Power earlier, so it does have a Bits Power in, uh, logo as the VRM cooling solution on the heatsink is using a Bits Power design. This is a Bits Power G-Chill hybrid water block, so you can use it with or without liquid cooling implemented. And with Smart Fan 5, this board has nine temperature sensors, two being thermistors, external thermistors, which you can connect to an M.2, a mechanical hard drive, or even an optical disk drive, depending on what you guys want to do to test the temperature settings or readouts from those devices. And it has eight hybrid fan pin headers. These fan pin headers can automatically detect between voltage mode or PWM modes of the type of fans that you guys connect to the board so users don't have to worry about what fan they need to connect or what fan they need to buy. And one of the more important things about Smart Fan 5, you can actually have each hybrid fan pin header respond or react to each uh, ther thermistor or temperature readout on the board and this can actually be interchanged through the Smart Fan 5 application. You have dual Killer NICs as well as an Intel NIC. So you have Killer Double Shot Pro, meaning one of them is an Ethernet, one of them's a wireless interface. And the Intel is also an Intel NIC directly on the board. And earlier we talked about Thunderbolt 3, and Thunderbolt 3 is in that USB Type-C, which means you automatically have USB Type-C available at your disposal. A lot of these features at the bottom here, you guys may have seen or heard us talk about it. You have your QFlash Plus, you have uh, your HDMI 2.0, your U.2s, but one of the other ones that I want to point out would be our USB DAC up 2. We've actually improved upon this feature where it provides you clean power. One of the additional features now for USB DAC up 2 is you can actually control the voltage. So it has an adjustable voltage setting which allows you to give power to pow uh, those power-hungry external devices. 
So for example, now all the keyboards have RGB lit LEDs on keyboards or gaming mice or even gaming headsets and even VR headsets. All of these power hungry devices will lose connection if you don't give it enough power and that's why on your next gaming motherboard or any board or system that you choose, make sure you have an ORS, uh, you have this gigabyte solution on it uh, for USB DAC up too. All right, so let's take everything out of the box and we can look at the peripherals, accessories, and all of the, and of course, the board. All right, guys, we have all of the accessories that come with this Z270X Gaming 8 board laid out for you guys. And it comes with the usuals. You have your user's manual. You have a multilingual installation guide. If you guys aren't familiar with building your own PC, Gigabyte does have a DIY PC guide online that you can reference off of. And of course, a driver disc. Of course, if you guys are looking for the most updated drivers, be sure to download or go to the ORS or Gigabyte.com website and look for your product to find the most up-to-date drivers comes with the door hanger so you can make sure that your siblings or your parents aren't bothering you when you guys are gaming and of course some cable ties to wrap up your keyboard mice or even your monitor cables to the back in a neat friendly fashion and with this board it comes with two packs of SATA cables each of these SATA packs comes with a right angle connector so that gives you a total of four SATA cables now with the SATA cables, you have these stickers that allow you to label it in a proper manner so you don't lose which drive does what. And right down here, you can see that there are two external thermistors. These are the thermistors we were talking about earlier where you can connect to an M.2 or even an optical disk drive or a mechanical hard drive so you can test the temperature readout directly from your Smart Fan 5 application and you can set your hybrid fan pin header to ramp up if one of these temperature sensors get hotter than normal. As we move up from the top, you have your wireless antennas for your wireless module and of course you have these this silver bracket that allows you to lock in the antenna modules in place. With this setup you also get Bits Power plugs. Uh, the board comes with some black plugs. Bits Power has included silver plugs for you guys to use so you can actually install with these silver Bits Power plugs if you want to have a difference in color and make that pop out. Right here we have two extension cables for RGBW or RGB UV LED strips and these this basically bridges the gap from your motherboard onto and connects your RGB LED strips. Now this board comes with an SLI bridge for two-way SLI, a G connector so you can actually connect all of your front panel headers in a neat and friendly fashion so you can connect it directly onto the board but you can do all of this outside of your chassis. You also have some HDMI and DisplayPort plugs to ensure that dust doesn't populate inside these ports when you're not using it because you have a discrete or dedicated graphics card installed. And last but not least, you have a rear padded I.O. but this I.O. is a little bit different. It actually has these RGB cables because this I.O. can actually light up. So that's all of the accessories that come in the box. That was a lot and there's definitely a lot more on the board so let's swing the camera around and have a look at the board. Alright guys so we took out all the accessories and as we were putting away we found that we were missing one of these so you actually get an Oris case badge that comes in the box make sure if you guys don't find it you guys shake your user manual around it might be stuck inside so remember all of the Oris motherboards will have an Oris case badge for you to put on the outside of your case so people know that you have an Oris gaming PC. Now, that's a lot of features from inside on the accessory size. Now we're going to go to the box. Sorry, this isn't the box, this is the board. We're going to go straight over to the board. As you can see, it is a black on black. It has a black armor on the rear I.O., the audio portion of the board as well. And you have your Bits Power heatsink here that is called the G-Chill. This G-Chill is a hybrid heatsink, so you can actually use it actively or passively and earlier in the accessories you saw that it came with different plugs silver plugs that you can switch it with to offset that power to make the color to make sure it pops out right here you have plugs for your rear IO LED you have your standard CPU power and you have your LGA 1151 socket we talked about this earlier this socket supports both seventh and sixth generation core processors 
as we move over a little bit more you have your CPU fan headers and your CPU optional fan headers you can use both of these together at the same time one is to be used with a pump that's your CPU optional and your CPU fan is to be used for the fans that control and cool down the CPU now in between here you can see that we have diffusers in those dim slots to make sure the RGB fusion does shine out and you get a better look and feel for it. We also have quick buttons, a power button, an eco mode button, and an OC button. Now if you guys aren't familiar with overclocking you can definitely check out on the Gigabyte site. We do have a beginner's guide to overclocking, very simple step by step instructions to get you through your first overclock. That's one of the things you guys can look at as well. And earlier we were talking about the RGB, uh, RGB Fusion comes with the Accent LED overlay and that's this overlay here. And Gigabyte will be doing different things at different events as well as on our Facebook page. So if you want to see how you can take advantage or try to get different types of LED overlays, be sure to like and follow us and see how you can win some of these to take home. And right here, some more hybrid fan pin headers on this board. There was a total of eight hybrid fan pin headers and two USB 3.0 ports. You have your chipset heatsink right here with the Oris logo, some SATA ports, two U.2 ports, your front panel pin headers that support that G connector to allow you to connect all of those front panel cables outside of the chassis before you connect it to the board. Another three hybrid fan pin headers and right here you have your debug code so if you run into any issues during your installation this debug code will help you a lot but at the same time Gigabyte has actually implemented another feature to help you diagnose any issues that you might run into when you're installing or building your PC and that would be the diagnostic LEDs right here these LEDs right here at the bottom these LEDs can tell you if your CPU or your memory isn't seated properly or if there's an issue with your graphics card or if it's an issue with the hard drive and it can't boot properly. One of those LEDs will stay lit and it'll help you quickly identify the issue with your PC. Moving over to the left a little bit more, you have two USB 2.0s and right here you have two RGBW pin headers. These pin headers, remember, come with extension cables that came out of the accessory box so you can actually connect those extension cables directly to the board and the other end to your RGB, RGBW or RGB UV LED strips. Now the reason that we've included RGBW is because it gives you truer and brighter whites and you get more vibrant colors and with RGB UV you'll able to get a black light look and feel so if you want to use any UV reactive cabling you can use those neon greens or UV reactive paint or UV reactive liquid cooling solution in your liquid cooling setup. Now as we move over a little bit more you can see that you have your three op amps two for the rear left and right channel and one for the front and all of this is using high-end audio capacitors that you find in uh, many receivers out in the market today. And this board supports dual M.2s, so if you want to use your next generation form factor NVMEs, this, is, this board definitely supports those features. And the PCIe slots have that ultra durable armor and metal shielding to make sure that those heavy graphics cards don't damage your motherboard. Now, We've seen most of the front of the board. Let's look at the rear I.O. to see the different connectivity options that are available to you when you purchase a Z270X Gaming 8 motherboard. Starting from the top, you have your combo PS2 ports. You have your two USB DAC up 2 ports. And earlier we talked about how these DAC up 2 ports are crucial for gaming and VR. So if you want to do any type of gaming, you have those RGB uh, RGB lit keyboards or if you have a VR headset that often loses connection you want to make sure you have an Oris motherboard because it has this USB DAC up 2 feature that allows you that prevents that from happening. You have your killer Wi-Fi right here and remember the killer Wi-Fi comes with a metal bracket to make sure the antennas are locked in place. You have your HDMI and DisplayPort port if you plan to use your integrated graphics. If not, Plugs are included so you can actually block those off so they don't collect dust. And two USB 3.0s, a USB 3.1 Gen 2, as well as in Type C, as well as one in Type A. And then of course a, a QFlash Plus port, which allows you to flash 
your BIOS without having memory or a CPU installed. And you have a killer NIC and an Intel NIC and your audio ports at the very bottom. So that wraps up the unboxing for our Z270X Gaming 8 motherboard. If there's anything I missed or if you guys are looking for more detailed information, be sure to check out the Oris.com or Gigabyte.com website. If you like what you saw, be sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel. We've done the unboxings for all of the six Oris motherboards and like our Facebook page to participate in different contests and sweepstakes. That's Facebook.com forward slash Gigabyte motherboards. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.